River State Governor Musum Wike blames federal government for black shirt in Port Harcourt. Hello, my wonderful people. There is nobody who will not blame, you know, the federal government, especially Buhari's administration. It came on the back of lies, deceit, and what we can currently see now. There is nothing good associated with this administration rather than lies and much more going on. Nigerians trusted this administration, committed yourself to them, gave them everything, thought that we have an administration that could potentially, you know, change the course of nature. But guess what? They are more terrible than we can ever imagine. These are a set of people who came, you know, giving Nigerians, you know, hope that this is this and this and this and this is what they've got in place or they've got down and that in the course of time things will change. Guess what? There was no plan in place. It was all called a mirage. It was all called a deceit. And like you and I know, the deceit has played out and we can see it for ourselves. There is no hiding place. What they thought initially that they would do and get away with it, you know, is clearly staring us all in the face. And Nigerians, I know that it's only God that can truly help us out of the current predicaments we've come to find ourselves. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. River State Governor Newsom Wiki has put a huge part of the blame over the black shot in the atmosphere of Port Harcourt, the state capital, at the feet of the federal government. According to the governor, the black shot is an environmental disaster which his administration has tried to tackle but the lack of cooperation from the federal government has so far frustrated their efforts we came in a part of the new year message to the people of river state submitted that the activities of those carrying out illegal bunkery mm -hmm. at and attributes of crude oil refinery illegally is majorly responsible for the short engulfing the Port Harcourt area. It stated further that the federal government has been contracted severally on his, by his administration to stop the legal activities, but their request has not gotten any favorable response. Apart from the silence, Nigerian news report that Port Harcourt governor said security challenges has been actively collaborating with the illegal refineries by protecting them which has therefore encouraged such people to continue their harmful practice and activities which is now affecting the state the governor said let me also reiterate that we are overly concentrated as the public over the black spot environmental disaster that has continued to engulf port harcourt and upsetting residents for quite some time now as a state government we have drawn the attention of the federal government to this problem and requested for an intervention to stop the activities of illegal bunkery, crude oil refineries, which is causing these devastating conditions in the atmosphere, which we have identified as the main source of the black spot pandemic. But yet the government has not responded. Unfortunately, the federal government has remained Agdaman silence over our request and even complacent in a large extent with the security agency's activities who are aiding, encouraging and protecting these illegal refiners and bunkers to continue with their illegal harmful activity which is affecting us all today. So this is what Newsom Wiki is saying. It is the federal government and you'll be shocked. Security agencies are protecting them. Yes, you heard me. Security agencies are protecting them, they are paying them, you know, and they are protecting them. This is why Nigeria is the way it is. The things that they are doing is affecting the health of the people, but they don't care. You don't understand, they don't care. What they are doing is illegal, is wrong, should never be done, but they don't care. It's affecting the health, the life of the people, but they don't care. Illegal bunkers, some people are trying to refine the um, crude oil illegally. Where crude oil is being refined is not residential area. And even if it's not far from residential reach, there are 
things that should be put in place so that the carbons, okay, and the and the waste, the crude oil waste, does not affect the people. This is where we, this is why we are hearing of uh, water pollution, air pollution associated with crude oil refinery, you know, and why things must be done properly and properly and you know steadily. But guess what? These things are not done. There is no real thing to be put in place to ensure that we get out of this current predicament. They have paid people so much. I know the funniest thing in Nigeria. Have you heard of the word called money? Ah, you've not heard. Money goes a long way. In fact, money speaks. Money has voice. Hmm? Money has voice. Money speaks. Okay, money goes a long way to ensure that, you know, whatever they want, they get. So these are some of the things that are going on. These are some of the things that are happening. And Nigerians, if we want change, if we want things to transform, we must rise up and tell ourselves the truth. There is no hidden way, two, three here. No, no. We must come out, you know, ethically and be honest with the position we want to get out of this. Other than that, we are really deceiving ourselves. You know, this is rather now causing a kind of pollution now in Port Harcourt. And these pollutions, they have their resultant effects. Some are long-term. And there's a way it gets into the, the DNA. By the time you inhale these things for so long, it's just like somebody who puts generator close to your house. Gradually, to begin to fill your lungs, and if you think you're feeling sleepy, it's from that sleep that they go to media maker. Because as the, uh, as the carbon gets into your lungs, the, the carbon monoxide gets into your lungs, it expels the oxygen. So before the person, the person will not know. And the less of oxygen you have, the more sleepy you are. The less of oxygen you are, the more sleepy you feel. And before you know it, you're becoming drowsy and you're not paying attention. And before you know it, things are worse off. Before you know it is to God be the glory. You understand where I'm coming from? Uh -huh. So if we want things to change, then there must be an honest resultant effect and change must must not be negotiable it must be a watchword it must be the real thing it must be the thing that must be paramount there is no going back and forth about it it is const it is what must happen if there's going to be anything called headway in the whole of the matter there must be something to make a difference you see leave us a comment we'd we'll love to hear from you Please don't forget to like, or share, subscribe. God bless you. Bye for now. Bye.